Okay, so to start off, I just applied a base coat, and this is just the Such um, Clear Base Coat. And then I also applied a white base, and this is just Orly in um, Day Glow, which has a little, it's not a pure white, it's got a little bit of a glowy kind of color. Um, and I only applied like one or two coat, one to two coats of the white, as you can see, and then um, when I was t doing my other nail, some of the nail polish remover took some of the white off. But um, anyway, it's all good, right? So... Basically, we are just going to be sponging on color, so I did get a little bit of white around my nails, but that is okay, so I'm just going to be taking a cosmetic sponge, and I am going to be going into um, an orange color, and this is just Essie's in orange, it's obvious, and I'm just going to apply it to a little corner of the makeup sponge. You could get these sponges from Target for like... Um, $1.97 for a whole pack of them. So now that we have it on that corner, I'm just going to pick two corners or two um, parts of my nail. So I'm going for this corner right here and I'm just going to start sponging it. And then I want to go with this corner right here. Okay, so now that we have the orange down on all of our nails, I'm going to go into with a red color. Now I'm going in with a really dark red, and this is just OPI's um, the th or Malaga Wine. So I'm just going to take that and apply it to another corner of the sponge and do the exact same thing, but try not to apply it on top of the orange. So I'm going to apply it in the middle of the orange right here. As you can see right there how I just applied it in the middle. And then right over on this end. It does look kind of pinky, that's why I did go with a darker red. I'm going to go on with some yellow, and I'm just using this Art Deco by LA Colors, and this is in just yellow. I'm going to apply it to that corner. And if there's not enough space on your nail and you do you can only apply that color once and that's fine too. I'm going in with green and the green I am using is this green by Wet n Wild Fast Dry and I don't I believe it's in emerald. I'm not sure. It didn't come with what it um the color Okay, so these really don't look like leaves, leaf nails, so to darken it up, we are just going to take this color by OPI, and it's Linkin Park After Dark, and it's a dark kind of purple, so I'm just going to apply that onto a corner of my sponge, just a little bit, because this color is really vibrant, and basically what we're just going to do is apply it to little corners, and I like to do only two on each nail, maybe even three, if you really need to darken that nail up. So like that. Now it looks a little bit more fall-like. Okay, so that's what our nails look like afterwards. So we're done with sponging everything on. Now I'm going into with a nail pen, and this is just the Sailing Hansen Nail Art Pen in black. Um, I think it's just black. Let me check. Yeah, it's just in black. And what I'm going to do is this, I you have to like shake in the tube because it does um, get really, I don't know, all over the place. So I just like to shake it and then I like to dab it on to my piece of paper, like shake it on and just hold down um, because this brush doesn't like, it's not a fine brush at all. So I just like to dab it down and take a little brush and so let me finish dabbing that down. Okay, so now that we've got some black down right here, um, I am just going to close it, and then I just go in with a really tiny, small detailing brush like this. This is actually not a nail brush. It is actually an art brush. So anyway, so I just like to dab it in to the black, and then um, try again not to make it look uniformed. So all I'm going to do here, let me zoom in. 
all I am going to do is kind of create little um, tiny squiggle lines. I like to make one big one like that and then I like to make tiny little branches going off of it that actually look like branches. As you can see on this nail, that looks so much like a branch. Tiny little strokes also will make it look more like a branch. Going, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into a glitter nail polish and this is just the Wet n Wild Glitter Nail Polish Wild Shine and a little bit of green got into it but um, it doesn't matter, it doesn't show up green. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to apply it over, this step is optional, and I'm just going to apply and it's just going to look like a really pretty glitter. We have the glitter done, I'm actually going to go into with a q-tip and some of that nail polish remover again. I'm going to dip the q-tip or cotton butter whatever into the nail polish remover and dab it off and we're going to clean around the edges of the nail. Okay so now that we removed the excess I am going to just apply a top coat and this is just the Pro FX Pro Fix Taps Coat. You could get from Walmart and it is like this huge one. And you just need a little bit of this stuff and you're just going to apply a really, really thin um, layer over your nail. Like that and that is the completed fall inspired nail tutorial. I hope you liked it and I'll talk to you all soon. Bye!